البرايا نور الهدايا وخير البرايا علي قائد علي صامد علي خوض الشداد علي اسمه وعلي علمه أنزل الفرد الصماد علي ثورة وعلي جمرة بالحريبة ما لنات علي قبلة وعلي لجلة صارت الكعبة مها دربك مسدد اسمك مخلد دربك مسدد واسمك مخلد علي 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 بحر الفضايل حاز المنازل وش ما أواصل لا ما أوفي في فضل يشهد الله ومحمد وفكر المخلد ما يحوي وصفي أصرخ إذا جار الزمان بالمحال ادركني يا أبا الحسن يا الوطن حبك بدل على سكن كل ركن لو بذكرك اطمئن ما يوين يا علي باب المدينة وحامي نبينا باب المدينة وحامي نبينا علي 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 منهج علي تلهج باسمك أملاك السماء علي صالة وعلي جالة علي بدار ودماء علي سجدة على خدة للعلي دمع هما علي غيرة وعلي غيرة من كفول فاطمة حبك عبادة وقربك سعادة حبك عبادة وقربك سعادة علي 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 السلام عليكم uh, Thank you for joining us today This is a formal discussion between namely two speakers um, Sheikh Hassan Ala Yahri and Mr. Hassan Shimrani um, Since there's no moderator to represent Mr. Shimrani today I'll be acting as a medium between both parties. But before we start discussing the structure and the debate topics, um, are you satisfied for me to be the moderator today, Mr. Hassan Shamrani? Yes, I am. That's fine. Okay, so um, what I expect from both parties today is to obviously agree to the topics. And if there's some issues, if there's some topics that require further elaboration, um, we need to make that clear today. Um, and not have this something which is later argued at a later time. So between yourselves, inshallah, I, I want you guys to keep as respectful as possible. If I feel at any time you guys are moving away from the topic, um, I, will, I will cut you off. Um, but please don't take that personally. Um, so I'll, at times I will be quite uh, abrupt. So I will pass on to Mr. Either one of you guys want to go first. Is, is there anyone who wants to go first out of you two? I give Mr. Okay, that's fine. Oh, thank you. If you'd like to go first, that's, that would be fine with me. First of all, I'd like to, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, I'd like to thank Mr. Sayyid Ali for accepting to be the moderator in this discussion. Uh, I'd like to outline that we asked Mr. Shimrani to bring his own moderator. For some reason, uh, perhaps he couldn't find somebody or whatever happened, uh, he agreed to have Sayyid Ali moderate this uh, discussion. And uh, we conveyed to him that if, um, if that's a problem because Sayyid Ali is a Shia and Sayyid Ali is, of course, uh, will try to be fair and, and just to both parties. If that's a problem, we can cancel this meeting now and uh, uh, wait for until he could arrange a moderator of his own choice. He has, he has that prerogative. Uh, 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 this uh, discussion happens as a result of my challenge that I put forward that the topics and uh, subjects of dispute between us, the Shia, and the opposing faction, especially so the Salafi section, uh, faction, are many. And in order to provide a good uh, forum for the 
uh, audience and for the world to be educated in our differences and be given a fair chance to both sides. A series of debates on uh, topics of disputes is necessary. And, as, uh, and Mr. Uh, Shimrani uh, expressed that he's ready to take on this challenge. Although he has been hesitant to discuss the topics uh, that, uh, that both sides need to agree in order to have a series of discussions. Hopefully this uh, meeting, this session here, would be a catalyst in order to have further meetings, in order to agree on a number of topics so we could have a series of uh, discussions. Um, I'd like to yield to Mr. Shimrani and then I have some more um, stuff to say. Yeah, so I'm just going to pass on to um, Mr. Hassan Shimrani. Um, in defense to him, I don't think he has an issue with uh, debating uh, these topics, which you, you, I'm sure, which you'll present to him today. Um, but for now, if we can perhaps agree, you know, a number between both parties, a realistic number, and inshallah, you know, the structure, because what's important here is the debate should follow. They shouldn't be you know, a matter which is not really, uh, you know, a matter related towards the end of the Prophet's life to be started as a first topic of debate. So it, it needs it needs to flow. So do you have any suggestions, Mr. Hassan Shamrani, as as the first topic of debate? Yeah, I can start. Yes, of course. Alhamdulillah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, Greetings to you, uh, Mr. Sheikh Alayari, Hassan Alayari, and uh, uh, Sayyid Ali, and uh, all the viewers and everybody who's watching this video. Um, as far as I understood, because there was some exchange between messages, my messages, of course, to Mr. Alayari, and to Alayari's messages to me, and uh, they were conveyed by you, Sayyid Ali. The last thing I understood and Mr. Alayari can correct me if I'm wrong, is that he agrees to um, debate the topic of Imam from the Quran and from the Sunnah, and uh, which I have no, well, that's what I would like to, and because it is, from my understanding was, and I think, you know, that uh, everybody else, or many people who have watched the video, including some Shias, that the impression was given that uh, Mr. Alayari made the offer to debate 12 Imams from the Quran, but then he explained himself further and, and said that, well, that means it depends. He, he does debate that, but if that topic is chosen, then Tahrir must be chosen as well. Anyway, we don't want to open this kind of worms again and talk about all of that. It's just that I understood now from the previous messages. Uh, from Mr. Alayari, that now he, he accepts to debate as the first topic. So let's get the first topic right. Um, Imama, uh, the Shi'i concept of Imama from the Quran and from the Sunnah. Okay. Um, because he said this is not something that is just from the Quran. We Shi'as believe in the Sunnah as well, which is absolutely correct. Uh, yeah, I'm not a Qurani. I, I'm not saying that we talk from the Quran only. So we can choose that as the first topic. And I understood, I repeat, Actually, he accepted that, that we can do that as the first topic. Is that correct? Sorry, Mr. Uh, Hassan Ali can you go Yes, uh, th thank you. Uh, my challenge is to discuss and dis uh, uh, debate all topics and all matters of dispute, especially the key ones, important ones, in a series of debates. And one of them would be Imam uh, from uh, Quran and Sunnah, obviously. However, for the Imam to be from Quran and Sunnah the first, I have a reservation with respect to that, but I'm forced to accept that because the opposing side would not agree, would not volunteer to anything else. They would not even agree to discuss, to have a discussion with me what topics they would suggest. To, again and again, I uh, made a statement that I asked the opposing side to come forward and suggest some topics. They were not suggesting any topics. So it was forced upon me. And, and because of my confidence in my madhab, I, and uh, the uh, plentitude of uh, proofs that we have about imam from Quran and Sunnah, obviously, I have no hesitation about accepting a Quran uh, ima, uh, to discuss imam as the first topic in our series of debates. And I'm not going to change my word. 
and I'm not trying to persuade Mr. Um, Shimrani otherwise. However, I want to outline that this was uh, imposed on me and I had no choice but to accept this, but I welcome it. However, however, if Mr. Shimrani, now I, I've given my word in writing and also in this statement that I agree to discuss Imamah as the first topic in Quran and Sunnah. However, since Mr. Shimrani claims that he has accepted my challenge to debate major issues of dispute, between Shia and the, uh, their madhab, there shouldn't be any problems to agree, to propose and negotiate and agree on a number of debates, on a number of topics besides Imama and Quran and Sunnah. So my question to Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Shimrani is, if you're sincere and if you're truthful that you've accepted my challenge, I've proposed several times, and I've repeated myself several times, let's come and discuss. You propose a number of topics, I propose a number of topics, and we have a pool of topics. From those topics, we discuss and we talk and we agree on a few of them to have at least uh, five debates, if perhaps we could have more debates, ten debates. Uh, are you ready, Mr. Shimrani, to have this talk tonight, uh, today or tonight, according to your time, with me? to have a series of debates and agree after Im the subject of Imam to discuss other other topics of dispute between us and you. Mm. Yeah, so um, Hassan, can you go ahead? Are you, are you happy with that? Um, as I said, I said it from the very beginning, to say that there is no objection to that, there is no objection to that. All I was saying is, even now, I would agree that we say, okay, uh, Alayari is generous, and he was, it was himself, even that in the first initial video that he said, even if it's to a disadvantage in whatever topic. Anyway, so if the first topic is Imama, she concept of Imama from the Quran and Sunnah, mm. then he can choose the second topic. And I say, there is no doubt there is more key issues than thus these mm. topics. But, I have my reservations, and I believe it's not um, out of thin air that I say this. With all due respect to Mr. Alayari, the first uh, pre-debate discussion um, has given me, uh, uh, how should I put it, um, uh, precaution. I want to, I want to be careful. As in, I need to see because, especially from the last pre-debate discussion with which in my opinion yes you can Mr. can have his own opinion but I have seen even even Shia themselves even some of his followers saying he did not let me speak and it was um that's why I am here today I might have said although I don't remember I said anything really rude to him but I mean there were some outbursts from his side so I say I say I don't disbelief in his maturity that he hopefully inshallah will behave much better in a debate in a common debate I say we choose one topic we have now imama and from the Quran Sunnah he can choose the second topic and then everybody needs to see I need to see the audience needs to see in himself if it is civil debate then of course, by all means, and this is recorded right now, I'm, I'm saying this in your face, everybody's watching, will watch that, can hear that, that by all means, yes, we can discuss more. <coughs> but the thing is, for me to pledge, you have to understand where I'm coming from, I need to pledge a certain number, four, five, six, and then I find out, for example, I'm not saying it's gonna be like that, I said the possibility is, you know, because for me, what I've seen from the last discussion was that Mr. Adayari is unpredictable as in, in his behavior and discussion. Yes, we have right now a moderator. It seems much calmer and better, which is very good, and I appreciate that. All I'm saying is, yes, we should debate more than one topic, definitely. Yes, let's definitely agree to one topic that I've chosen, and he has generously accepted, one topic that he can choose. And then, and even these, this, the very one topic, first topic that we're choosing, as you know, it will be 
probably hours or maybe more than one session. If everything goes civil, nice and smooth, and by all means, I will have in in the eyes of nobody any excuse to not go forward except you can then call it whatever you want, fear of you or whatever. So I say it's rational to say that we do discuss more than one main topic, but let's do it step by step. Let's first agree on this and go through it and even agree on one that you chose and then the rest in the future. So, uh, Sheikh Hassan al Yahri, what do you have to say about uh, that? I would, um, first of all, with respect to our last discussion, there were no rules of engagement uh, agreed upon. So there is no question of that you were not allowed enough time. It was not a live show that was running a live show and I was hosting a TV show. You were recording just as I was recording. So it was you, you, uh, you could have recorded this conversation, video, audio, if you had wanted to. And, and, and I didn't have any advantage over you to raise your volume or to bring down your volume. You could have, you could have done the same to me. Uh, likewise, you interrupted me and you began to interrupt me again and again in you. Whatever happened, uh, it's, it's in the past. And for the future, we could always, that's what I always uh, emphasize before debating anybody, that we have to agree on rules of debate. If we agree on the rules of debate that we cannot be interrupted, or we, how much time is going to be divided between t t two parties, then it we clarified which party is violating that uh, those rules and if now on the one hand you say that you have agreed to accept my challenge and my challenge is very clear to have discussion a series of discussions on major topics of dispute and you know uh, uh, in order to have these dis these discussions uh, we have to agree on rules and should it happen that in these discussions I would be loud and I would be rude and I would be impolite, that would be actually an advantage for you because you will win the debates just uh, because of my attitude and my demeanor. So you do not have to worry about that. Now, my position is that, I, that I'm, uh, uh, Mr. Shimrani's words, that he has accepted um, to debate me on major issues of dispute um, is more likely to be a deception for the viewers because his group, Mr. primarily my, uh, my um, challenge was to Mr. Hijab, Sheikh Muhammad Al-Urduni, Adnan Al-Rashid, Abdul Rahman Hassan, and also Mr. Hassan Shimran. And all those guys are silent. He has come forward and when are we, I, I, in writing and verbally, and through intermediaries, I encourage uh, Mr. Shimrani to propose some topics. If he is sincere, if he's truthful, that he has accepted the uh, uh, series of debates. Let's agree here that we are going to have at least six debates, 10 debates. And it's not difficult to come up with some topics some, that we can mutually agree that these are important topics and these are topics or issues of contention of dispute between us. To say that we are going to let's discuss imama and then we will see in the future, that's not accepting my challenge. That's a deception and that's, uh, I fear that the reason Mr. Shimrani is, uh, has to resort to such a tactic is because he doesn't want to face me in the future and okay. uh, he, okay, sorry, he sorry, just wants to. I don't mean, yeah. sorry, sorry, Mr. Um, sorry, Sheikh Hassan Ali, I don't, I don't want to interrupt you there. Um, as, um, Mr. Hassan Shamrani stated, he is happy to do a series of debates. Okay. okay. Provided, provided you follow the, the conditions of the debate, which is something which you would agree upon at a later time, the rules and regulations of the debate. As long as those rules and regulations are kept, then he doesn't have no issues. But for now, yeah. what he can say is that he's happy to have two debates, so a debate on imama from Quran and Sunnah, and then obviously a debate on the topic of your choice. So once these two debates have been, I achieved, do not agree that. And been no, I do not agree to that. You don't. You, you're not happy two with debates that. is not a series of debates. Can I now? Or maybe not. Go ahead. You can go ahead. Thank you. Um, 
First of all, I can promise it's no, it is no deception. I don't know who's that. Alayari often repeats these things. Deception and try to find a way to run away. Try to find a way to, try to run away in all honesty. And I'm not exaggerating this. I repeat, this is my own eyes. People who are, I'm not saying close to Mr. Alayari, but I guess people from this camp that were extremely disappointed in his behavior. It has nothing to do uh, okay, with... Okay, Hassan, please, let's, let's stick to... Okay, for now. Okay. Listen, has he accepted my challenge or not? I want okay, to know. Second. So give me a second, let me just speak here. Okay, so... Obviously, she... Uh, okay, go, go, go. What to do with what he said? Because previously he said, if Hassan Shemrani debates with me, and I would violate the rules and show rude behavior, bad behavior and so on, then it's to his advantage. Of course it would be to my advantage. No doubt it would be to my advantage. However, that would be a waste of my time. It would, it would look still bad on me because I pledged, for example, to debate five topics, six topics, seven topics, ten topics, twenty topics, and then I see that it is chaotic. So for me, I have all rights all right, I believe personally. And that is why I just, when he just interrupted me, that is why I just wanted to mention that even people from his camp were quite shocked from the behavior. So I say, let's forget about the past, yes. However, we have to learn from the past. Many people, many people, especially from people who obviously oppose me as a person, individual, and as a okay. citizen. Okay, many see. people thought that I am not going to behave at all, I'm going to be rude, but I wasn't. So I have proven myself in the last debate, pre-debate discussion. Yes, it was, there were no rules. However, it was one man speaking and shouting. So I say, we forget about the past, and we debate a topic which is a huge topic. Imam of the Quran and Sunnah itself is not really one topic. If we are fair, Allah, Mr. Alayari is a knowledgeable person. This is his field. And I think Brother Sayyid Ali as well, he knows very well. If some viewers don't know, but you both and I know very well that this topic itself is not really one. This is a huge topic. And I say, as Sayyid Ali said, I agree to discuss more topics, but I have my reservations. I, this is my so, right, I have my reservations. Uh, bro I brother Sayyid Ali. By oh. good behavior and conduct, civilized debate, I will have zero excuse. We will have a nice long session, probably more than one, definitely more than one, an Imam of Quran and Sunnah. And then what, what, there will be no objection for me to not debate. But for me right now, to promise six or ten or twenty topics, this is like, you know, this is a, a promising something for somebody at this moment, I can't fully trust to have the civilized debate. I have to see it in the first debate first. Okay, uh, Sheikh Hassan al Yahri, would you please go ahead? I th he could, he could con make it conditioned to the fact that both sides do not violate the rules that we agreed upon. Yeah. Is he willing to commit to discuss a number of issues of dispute between us, provided that both sides agree and uh, up, uphold all the rules uh, of, uh, of discussion. Is he willing to do that? Of course, of course. I mean, no, no, I, I, I want to hear it from him. Yes, yes, I am. But I say to you, if we now, if I say to you now, if I number 10 topics, if I name now, right now, a, a pledge, I mean, sorry, promise 10 topics, for example, and agree to 10 or more topics, and then I will have to face the first debate we'll have. And it's going to be cha chaotic. For example, I'm not saying it will be, but let's say something will happen. Well, it will still look bad on my side. Because I already, I throw myself into the cold water by pledging things. I say I... this is a huge topic itself, Imam of the Quran Sunnah. I am not running away. I will have no excuse. Zero so basically, uh, this is uh, Sayyid Ali, this is really an insult to me 
again and again, he is saying that I'm not a stable person and he doesn't want to debate me because he's afraid that I'll get out of control. I've, I've debated many people uh, and uh, senior scholars, Sheikh Mahmoud Sha'ban al-Misri, a very well-known scholar uh, from Egypt, a presenter in many TVs, a Salafi person. Another person would be Walid Ismail, uh, a presenter and uh, a Salafi preacher uh, from Egypt. Uh, Ashraf Gharib, another uh, Salafi preacher from, from, um, uh, from Egypt. Sheikh uh, Sa'ad al-Ghamidi, one of the Imams of Masjid al-Nabawi, sallallahu alayhi wa, alayhi wa sallam. And we agreed on certain rules. And anybody who watched these debates, they know that I did not violate these rules. I debated a famous person, people know on the question of Sufism, and he cussed me time and again, and I did not cuss him back. People know that. On the question of outbursts and chaotic uh, discussions, perhaps one of the topics could be the behavior of Sahaba. How the Sahaba, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 since he's attacking me personally. And a discussion that we had mutually discussion, and we had not agreed on any, any rules of debate, and he started attacking my religion and calling my Imams that they are fake, that they are a, a fairy tale, that they are lies. And he, he was the one, he started interrupting me again and again. Uh, and of course, I became emotional at him, and as he was interrupting me, I interrupted him, and the time was not divided. Now he is, okay. he is, now he is complaining, hold on, please. Now he's complaining about that, what happened in the past, and he has made that as, as, as an excuse not to discuss, uh, agree on other topics. He just wants to discuss, from what he agrees, uh, seems like, he wants to only discuss Imama, which I've agreed, I'll give him that. I'm not going to change that. Hold on, please, please, no, please, Sayyid Ali. Uh, I've agreed to that, and I, I, will, I will do that debate, but he, he cannot claim that he has accepted my challenge if he is not willing. My challenge is clear, to have a series of debates. If he is truthful, and now is the test. Now is the time. We will agree on conditions. But before we agree on conditions of debate, even if I, told, I said if even if there, these conditions are unfair to me, even if he wants more time, if, if, even if he wants, he wants to bring his friends, I'll give him that, that to him. If he wants, he wants to seek some other advantage, I will give that to him. The rules we will agree upon and we'll discuss that later. And once we agree on those rules, the world will see who, who, who adheres to those rules and complies and who violates them. And we will uh, stipulate in those, uh, one of the rules that continuation of these series of debates would be subject that both sides uh, 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 remain uh, faithful to the terms of uh, debates. However, if he is truthful that he's accepted the, uh, to have a series of debates with me, Instead of, instead of crying that last time I did not let him speak, likewise, he was interrupting me. I was pressed to finish my sentence quickly because I was afraid that he's going to interrupt me. Now is he, hold on, let me finish this sentence. The challenge is to, uh, no. Please, please allow me, please allow me to finish my, 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 my thought. This talk, listen, if he is truthful that he has accepted the challenge, why he is not willing? Okay, okay. You, now he's into, uh, would you allow me please? Mr. Mr. Would you allow me please to finish my thought? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop both parties here for now. Oh. Okay. And, okay. No, 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 I, I wanna stop both parties from speaking here right now. So, and he was speaking. We, 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 we don't actually, we're not getting to the point, and the point is, okay, obviously both parties want to debate. From Mr. Um, Hassan Shamrani's point of view, he doesn't mind having a series of debates, okay? He's willing to, you know, dedicate, it, dedicate himself to those debates, provided the conditions are not broken in, 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 the, in the debate. Mr. Uh, Sheikh al at the same time, he is happy to do a series of debates, as he suggested, and he also gives his, his words that he won't break those conditions of the debate and if he does everyone will see obviously that he, he will be guilty of that but for now i just want both parties to agree okay um on some topics i mean from your side um, um uh, mr hassan shamrani do you have uh, any topics in mind uh, do you have like a, do you have any i mean you mentioned imama but do you have any other topics which you 
which you want to discuss, or have you not made your mind up about that yet? Well, I've chosen, I've chosen Imam, Imam from the Quran Sunnah. Mm -hmm. He can choose now one, mm -hmm. uh, following uh, a, 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 a topic that follows the Imam one. I'm sorry, just one thing, because it, 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 I, I need to say this, because this is a huge, huge accusation. I've never insulted the Imam. The Imams, alayhim salam, I love them more than my mother and my father. I just disagree. Obviously, as a Sunni Muslim, the way Shi'is believe and what they ask to the Imam. So the Imams, alayhim salam, ala ra'ati, I love them more than my own father and my mother and myself. So I did not insult the Imam. I said to, according to us, Muslims, as well as Jama'a, the concept of Shi'i Imama, that one is in this. For now, there's not really any set conditions in terms of um, what would be considered breaching this actual um, meeting for today. In terms of the conditions that will be stipulated in the debate, these are things which are fixed. Obviously, if either party breaks them, it will become, you know, it will become uh, uh, apparent. But for now, I want to give it back to uh, Sheikh Hassan al Yahri and um, obviously discuss what you've just mentioned in terms of discussing imamat from Quran and Sunnah and you know, how, how many debates would be considered realistic and agreed upon with uh, both parties. And then obviously what his proposal is for a second debate and how many, how many uh, you know, debates are required for that. So if, if Sheikh Hassan uh, al Yahri can come forward, please. And Sheikh, please, if we can, if you, you know, just give us a feedback about what, what, what he said, obviously, and uh, inshallah we can agree to some topics. Yeah. First of all, he said he loves Ahlul Bayt alayhim salatu was salam. And nothing could be farther from the truth. You glorify people who fought Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. You follow people okay. and your aqayad and your actions who killed Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam in the Battle of Karbala. Omar ibn Sa'ad is one of the narrators. Please, please, uh, please, no, I have to respond. I have to respond to his points. You will never change. You, you are a real. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay for you to interrupt me. 
You interrupted me when I was talking earlier, and you interrupted me now again. Okay. You, Umar ibn Sa'ad, is one of the uh, murderers of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam, and he is one of the narrators of the Sunan al-Tirmidhi. And a number of Sahaba were present in the Battle of Karbala, massacring the Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam. And of course, they're all people of Jannah, and they're all Udul, and they're all pious. Okay, so so the, the claim that you love Ahlul Bayt alayhim is, uh, is a hypocritical claim. And time and again you start, start crying about the last uh, discussion. Could you stop that please? People are noticing that. That that is an excuse for you not to commit to more debates. I said, we set the conditions, one of them would be that each person talks in his own time. And if I do, and you can put that as a condition. If that c condition is not abided by, then you will not continue the debates. On the one hand, you say you have accepted my 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 debate, uh, my challenge. On the other, you are saying that you uh, you are not willing to have um, uh, to commit because of my demeanor. So I so I would say that perhaps you have not accepted my challenge, and my demeanor and my behavior is just an excuse for you, because yeah. you know. Yes, laugh. That's very polite. Because you know what's coming. And because you know you do not have any defense against my arguments. Uh, you have said that you have agreed to have a series of debates on questions of dispute between us. And I agreed only the, to, to discuss Imam in Quran and a Sunnah as an act of ran giving ransom to you because you would not even agree to talk. You would not even come closer unless I gave this to you. If you are sincere, if you are sincere about, ad uh, about addressing um, issues of dispute between us and you, I told you I've, I'm not going to change. I've accepted Imam and Quran and Sunnah. And that will be the first topic uh, unless you change your mind. And of course, uh, to give you the second topic that you asked time and again, why not? Uh, since you brought up the Imam of Ahl al-Bayt alayhim salatu wassalam, the second topic, this, which you, uh, put, uh, you need to prove is with the Imam of Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman from Quran and Sunnah. So I'll choose the same topic for you. However, if you have really agreed that uh, you want to have a series of debates, first, you have to expressly because accepting the debate, be a man. If you have accepted debate, now commit to it. Be a man and say that, yes, I agree to this. I will propose some topics, you propose some topics, and we exchange those topics, and we agree on some to have a series of debates. And what precedes rationally and logically, Imam and Quran and Sunnah is Quran and Sunnah itself. Quran, and what is the concept of Imam itself? That has to be defined before. But obviously you do not want to do that. You want to do a quick hit job and then run away. And I understand your strategy very well. <laughs> well I, what I would like to ask him, what I'd like to ask him, uh, please, uh, said Ali, uh, just allow me to ask him this question so he could, uh, and I'll yield to him. And I'd ask him to please not to laugh. Please be polite. And uh, yeah, he's shaking his head. Something is comical here perhaps to him. I would ask him that he did in the last di discussion, he proposed imama in Quran. He was insisting on it. And I, my, my position was a very logical and rational one. That in order to discuss imama from Quran, we have to discuss Quran first. And the reservation we, we have about the Umari stance with respect to Quran. He did not give a good reason. He did not give a good reason why he did not accept the topic. I'd like to give him a chance again. If he is indeed not trying to do a hidden hit job on me, just do one debate and then run away. They, they explained to me why he is not willing to commit to more topics and why he did not, what was his reason? If he's, if he's indeed accepted to just discuss a series of debates, why he didn't accept Quran also? What's your behavior? Okay, okay, do you know what, let me, uh, I just wanna make a point here, okay? Both parties, they're willing to Obviously, they're willing to debate, they're willing to have a series of debates. For now, the only pr proposal that, you know, Mr. Hassan Shamrani's offered is that he's willing to debate Imam from Quran and Sunnah. And 
and obviously you choose your topic which you said which would be imama of the the first the first three um, the first three um, uh, as in Abu Bakr and Umar Usman. So for now, if we can at least both parties agree on this issue, then we can inshallah look further at, at further debates because both parties are not willing to you know change the position. At the day, Mr. Hassan Shamrani, he's fixed on this. He he wants to debate. Imama from Quran and Sunnah. At the same time, he wants to accept your proposal of debating the Imama of Abu Bakr and Usman. So, and likewise, uh, when it comes to Sheikh uh, Hassan Ali Yahi, obviously he wants a series of debates, but that can only be arranged if these two debates go the way they should should go. So, if both parties are happy with that, then inshallah we need to go to the next step in looking at how many debates would be required for Quran, you know, Imam from Quran and Sunnah, and then you know, Imam of Abu Bakr and Umar Uthman. So, I mean, Sheikh Hassan Al Yahri, how many you know debates? No, do no you... he talked enough. It's my turn. He talked. He talked no, more. I just, I know, I just need to ask him how many topics does he find to be realistic? So then, you know, I, I then I, I can ask you if that's you know something that you accept or or not. So, so she, so she has well, I, I, I really, my position is he has not accepted my challenge. Because if really, if you want to That's be fine. honest That's with this, this matter, no, it's not fine. Then, then we, we have to declare that he has not accepted the challenge. I will give him the debate. But, but if he is indeed has accepted, uh, I'll give you your turn. Just one more, this quick, because he asked no, me this question. It's my turn. It is my turn. You spoke is my turn. Okay, okay. But he asked me a question. The moderator asked me a question. Moderator asked me a question. I cannot answer. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, uh, Shimrani, go ahead. Go, go, uh, if Hassan Shimrani goes ahead, go on. If you go ahead, Hassan Shimrani. I was actually asking Sheikh Ali Ali the question, but if you want to speak, fine, go ahead. What shall I say? Uh, I'm not even commenting on everything he said. Why are you crying? Why are you running away? It's a way to run away. It's none of that. I leave the, this all to my Lord and to the viewers. One just needs to go to the pre-debate and look from the comments, even by some Shia. You doubt your maturity and even your intellect. That's not me, that's other people. And right now in this discussion, you talk more than me. You interrupt me. I know we are not in the debate now. We didn't set this strict rule. However, we are the moderator here. You even interrupt the moderator and tell him to Okay. Well, they say shush. Only thing left is to say to the moderator, shush. Hassan I, Shimrani. Alayari. Please let me moderate please. Then I talk as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe 10%, me 90%, Alayari. So I say, I do not agree, and I don't give you a promise to 10 or 15 or even 6 debates, as long as I see this behavior. I am not. Why should I do this? Everybody is on my side. In this case, every article I believe, that's my belief. I say, I accept it, and I'm not going to, what is it, what is it, it's run anyway. It's in run, in the topic of Imam of Quran and Sunnah, such a huge topic, is there even such a thing to do it, it's in run? That takes hours, I believe, that it will probably take more than 10 hours of session. That alone is one topic. I.e. Imam of Quran and Sunnah itself is more than 10 topics probably. And I say you can right now choose your topic. Come on, buddy. You can choose your topic now. After we have at least one civilized debate, then we have another discussion and we can choose more topics. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give promise for anything more. I need to see civil behavior. And then we can go. Okay, Sheikh um, Hassan Allah Yahri. Um, yeah. For now, I understand that you feel as if um, Mr. Shabrani is not dedicating to the conditions. However, okay, for now, yeah. are you still willing to have a debate on uh, Imama from Quran and Sunnah at the same time? You know, are you willing to dedicate yourself to uh, you know debating Imama of? Uh, these these two topics we agreed upon and I'm not going to change that and of course I welcome that That's fine. yes and however um, I want to illustrate this matter very clearly 
to the world and to the viewers. That, this, this uh, crying about my behavior and about my interruption is just a ploy, a tactic not to commit. And I've repeatedly said in English, plain English, that one of the conditions would be that both sides would have to agree to strict uh, uh, rules of staying silent and mute during the other party's talk. He's is still, he says, actually he's being very condescending each time that I have to see your behavior. Well, in this case, you have clearly not accepted my challenge. And since you're not willing to commit to this, uh, to, to having these debates. If you're sincere, Mr. Shimrani, if, because I'm, I pose this question to you, if you're sincere, just, and I know you're not accepting my challenge, and my challenge will not be accepted, not, neither by you, neither by Mr. Hijab, or anybody else. And, the, and we very well know what's the reason behind it. And this is just a ploy that, that my demeanor is bad. Well, you could make that a condition. I said, that would be actually to your advantage. Anyways, uh, let me ask you this question. You answer it very clearly. If you are indeed sincere about having a discussion about imama in Quran and Sunnah, I would like to have, before that, the, the rational order would be to discuss Quran and Sunnah both. Because we have serious reservation about the, the element of nasb and animosity of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salatu wasalam in your khulafa and also in your narrators and those people whose ahadith you consider reliable and this is a serious problem I'm, I know you will not commit to a debate about tahrif of Quran and you, of course you do not have a reason you, you can never explain yourself clearly if you have explanation go ahead and bring it to us what is your explanation not why you don't accept before this subject accepting a, a a debate on tahrif of Quran. And I know that you will not accept that. However, would you agree, before we have our discussion about Imam and Quran and Sunnah, that at least you give me this chance to answer some of my questions? Not a debate, a very quick uh, question and answer session. Perhaps I'll have 10, 20 questions, or perhaps 10 questions. So that will help us uh, to establish as a prerequisite because some things need to be clarified because we are discussing how to prove Imam from Quran and Sunnah. And you, of course, you call yourself Ahl Sunnah, but it's not as easy as that. We do not consider you Ahl Sunnah when we do not honestly consider you a follower of Quran. Are you willing, at least, at least as a prerequisite to that, if you, if you're, if you, if you're honest about having a series of debates, then logic and fairness would dictate that we have a discussion about Quran and Sunnah both before that debate. But if you're not, go I know you're not, going to will uh, you're not going to accept that, but would you please answer me? And the viewers, would you accept, be willing at least to answer 10 questions? And I would like to answer your 10 questions about five about Quran, five about Sunnah. Before we have that debate, so some things would be clarified. Some issues need to be clarified about Quran and Sunnah that, you, that we believe and we will prove that that you hide from your people. And even religious students, religious <laughs> researchers do not know that. Would you be willing to do that? Same like last time, waste of time here, same like last time. He speaks more than me, he even in front of you. Now he came up with something new again. That's only 20, 10, you see? If I wanted, if I would go to that level, I could say the same thing. You were trying to run away. The asl is imam. Always, you guys do everything to somehow no, not to debate that. You said in your first video. I hope I'm not going to get cut off because I'm not going to talk anyway longer than him. It's always he going to talk. Longer. He said in his first video to have imam to Quran. I said in my first video face to face. He thought that I'm an ignorant. I don't know that there is uh, what was it? Remote surgery and that that there's Skype in the world. I know that. I thought that maybe I can make him come face to face is always better. He out of his comfort zone and also I out of my comfort zone. Alright, didn't work. I tried my best. I put aside my condition face to face. I put aside his own offer to debate certain Muslims. Two things I put aside. Two days ago or yesterday, I don't know when it was, through Bur Ismail, my good friend and brother in Islam, who messaged, I think, Sayyid Ali. 
I said, Imam of Quran is Sunnah. Quran is Sunnah. I'm not even saying Quran. Imam of Quran only. Although it's Usuli matter. For, this is a matter for salvation. Everything else from the Usul is clearly in the Quran. Even the Khilafah of Dawud is in the Quran. So I said, no, 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 no. Not just from Quran and from the Sunnah. Now he wants again something free the topic. No. I'm not running away from nothing. If this is such a clear cut matter, that whoever does not believe in it is at the very least misguided, at the very least. And in reality, we know that Sunnis are all Qasar in Yawm as a general rule. Then we debate this from the Quran and Sunnah, and I believe, as Hafiz Jamal, Fakiri Allah, as the Akshayat of the I can very well prove and establish that it is anti Quranic. No one in the Quran is. I will debate this. And you refuse me. You refuse me, embarrass me, so that I am never going to come online again. What's the problem? And right now you can choose another topic. I am not going to stay here another half an hour. I've got a headache now. Especially with him talking on. And constantly repeating, crying, crying. Oh, I'm not crying. I repeat, everybody can go and watch the previous video. The previous video was an embarrassment for you. Your own Shia people said that. Shia commenters said that you are embarrassing. And you are behaving like a child. And they doubted your sanity. That's not me saying that. Yeah, Mr. Alayari, I know it hurts, but it's not me that I have okay. told you. Okay. So okay. please, leave everything aside now. Take the mic and say, Mr. Alayari, we're going to find the date, the date from Quran and Sunnah Imam. That itself will take 10 or maybe 20 hours. Bismillah. Okay, As go ahead. Civilized, if I do not, if, if everything goes smooth and civil, and I do not show up in future debates, go around, Print posters, billboards, and say, Hazrat Shibrani, run away from me. Uh, that, that, that's more than enough, it's more than generous from my side. Mr. Um, Hassan Shamrani, um, if I just allow um, Sheikh Ali Ali to respond to that, inshallah. Um, he's constantly attacking about, uh, it's a ploy. Everybody knows that. I'm going to repeat my question to him again. I know that Quran, Imam, and first of all, let me clarify, I did not, never in my first video, I said that 12 Imams from Quran would be the first one. I said in the series, one of them, this would, be, well, this would be one of the topics, and I agreed to discuss it from Quran. I never said in my video that I would discuss this as the first topic. I'm going to, he talked about everything else, and he was trying to end this meeting without, without committing to anything, really. I'm going to, I'll repeat my question again to him. If he, I, I know your position, that you are not willing to commit to discuss Quran and Sunnah, because we are going to be discussing your Imam from Quran and Sunnah, it's only fair, and the burden of proof is on me, to prove from your Ahadith, Quran and Sunnah, from your Sunnah, I prove Imam. So I have some questions, some things, not to, to learn, a question so people would know what my position is about your Ahadith. You are not willing to answer those questions. Could you explain to us? Don't cry about my behavior. Explain to us rationally why you are not willing to commit. In one, in one sentence, you say you have committed to have a series of debates. Right. Then you are not willing to answer five questions about Sunnah. Why? What's the reason, sir? My sir? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's you. Yeah, you have to say something. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah. <sighs> I'm not going to repeat myself except this one time from Imam of Quran Sunnah. What your, your position about the Quran might be outrageous, and it seems to be outrageous. The Quran is a Hussein, is a Furqan, and the Sunnah is our Sunnah. Of course, you're going to quote from our Sunnah. What your position is towards the Sunnah, that it's distorted, like the Quran is according to you or not, this is all up to you. Point is, Imam from the Quran and Sunnah. Many other Shias debate this. Many other Shias are brave and debated this. Even just recently in Haifa. I'm gonna deb I'm gonna debate this. Anything now you, you see you brought up, you made up now a new pre-debate debate. Any no, sorry, a pre-debate, before the debate, actual debate. No, we're gonna debate exactly what we messaged each other yesterday or two days ago, and you agreed to it. And I offered it now, and you now choose your second topic, Bismillah, and then we're gonna debate the first topic in a few days. Or weeks or whatever. Your reservations about the Quran and the Sunnah and the Quran and the Nakh, do you see opening cans of worms? 
to just act like now I'll do like this. Smoke screen, making the smoke screen, opening cans of worm to make it to make it confusing for the viewers. If this belief would be Quranic, you would step with proud and say, I'm gonna to prove to you from the Furqan and even from the hadith of the so-called Bakri summary. This is what the Shia, this is what all Shia polemics explain. Come and prove them. Just prove me this Quran and Sunnah. I am ready, I am committed. Do not say I'm not committed. I am committed to my first topic, nothing else. That topic. And I'm committed to the topic that you choose now. Anything else depends on the first topic, obviously. The first and mm. second, uh, I mean, debate. Anything else? So, civilized? May I respond? Uh, of course, we'll debate hundreds more. Okay, Sheikh Hassan al Yahri, can we. Um Please. Yeah, let's finish it now. Okay. Agree or not? If he doesn't agree, Okay, Sheikh Hassan Yahri, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I, he's again. He's trying to pretend that I've not agreed. I said clearly that I've agreed. The first debate will be on Imam and Quran and Sunnah. I said that, and I'm not trying to change that. However, I asked him to. He did not clarify himself. I said, please bring you a valid reason. You, you, you say everything else, but you do not explain yourself that why do you do not agree? Because everybody knows that if I've taken upon myself that I will prove the Isma of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam, I'll prove their Imam from Quran and Sunnah. And of course, this is not, as, as you said yourself, it's not a small matter, it takes hours and hours. That's the, the burden of proof is on me. I've accepted that challenge. However, my question to you is that why? On the one hand, you say you've agreed to commit to a series of debates. On the other, this very rational request to at least answer some questions about Quran and Sunnah, you do not agree. Why? I'm not saying that you accept this. I'm not saying that this would be a condition of the, having the first debate. But I'm saying, to what, what's your reason? Because you have no reason. That's the reason. Go ahead. Go ahead. My reason that I'm not going to discuss anything other than that for the beginning, because this is the first topic I've chosen, you said we were the right there. Anything else that you want to push in between that to create a smoke screen and make the matter not clear to the people, I'm not going to give you that. This is the first topic that we're going to debate. Anything else in the future, if we will have a civilized debate, which I'm, I, I'm honest, and Alhamdulillah that it is recorded. I believe not my people that are on my side. I believe the sincere Shia people or even non-Muslim people who say, well, that, that guy's right. If I were him, I would also have reservations. No matter what, how many times Mr. Alayari will use words like cry, cry. No, no cry, no reservation. No. When you mentioned that he debated Fulan and Fulan and Fulan, there's more than enough. Don't mention who you debated. There's more than enough material that can, we can show that our first of you are probably 10 hours of, we can make a compilation of 10 hours of you exploding on your channel while talking to other people and insult people. <coughs> Don't bring up these things. I, you constantly ask questions already now you want to debate. I said we debate Imama from Quran and Sunnah. That itself is 10 of us. Anything else, Tahrid, you have observed. You have objections that need to be answered before that topic. No, no, no. That itself will be a topic. I, I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. 20 or 10 questions. That itself will be a topic. That itself will be at least a session. Why should I give it to you? You were the one. who Now you say that you did not say that 12 imams is not the first. Mr. Alayari, people, Bismillah, people are, can watch the video. It's online. It's on our YouTube page on 12share.net. You said we debate even if it's to my disadvantage. Even if it's to my disadvantage. Twelve imams from Quran. And then because you knew you dig this little hole for yourself. Oh no, oh yeah, no, 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 not the first topic. Now I'm, I put aside two of my conditions. People were saying that I'm running away. I'm the one who put aside two of my conditions. I'm not debate, I'm not gonna debate anything with something new now that you brought up in this discussion now. 10 points, 20 points, I have reservations about the Sunnah or this and that. Imam from Quran and Sunnah, the so-called alleged 
Yes, of course I understand his uh, position and I've explained to him repeatedly that I've agreed to have Imama and Quran and Sunnah as the first debate because I'm confident in the Madhab and the Nur and light of Ahlul Bayt is so immense that without any problem from their own books and they know this very well that's why he's not committing to more so topics no, we can it, pl please please allow me now we, we, we can prove the Imam of Ahlul Bayt والسلام, as well as the character of their own Imams he complains about demeanor and character and perhaps he should he could commit now if he's man enough and he's so confident about the Sahaba let's discuss what was the um, behavior of Omar and Abu Bakr uh, uh, in regards to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's respect. Now, my, I've agreed to the first topic and I would like to speak about Imama and uh, with it, uh, how we are going to proceed on that topic. But before I mention that, I want to clarify that rationally it would be if he has agreed to have a series of debates on, on major issues of contention and dispute. And this, I'd say that this is a deception. He has not uh, accepted the, this challenge and he's not willing to commit to any other topic. Uh, the rational uh, approach would be to discuss Quran first, Sunnah first, and then uh, something that depends and relies upon Quran and Sunnah. He is not willing to do that and he's not giving any reason why he's not willing to do that because he knows very well that he does not have any defense. That there, there are so many embarrassing true things in their own books by their grandest scholars about Quran and also their foremost respected muhaddithin they were nawasib they were enemies of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salatu wassalam and who were ruled by caliphs who were murderers of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam and they always please uh, just one moment and they always try to try to please those um, Khulafa by showing animosity towards Ahlul Bayt alayhim uh, salam. If he says otherwise, that he has another reason for not accepting this, then he should explain. Otherwise, it's very clear why he's not accepting this matter. <sighs> now, with respect to the topic, since he's not willing to even answer any questions about Quran and Sunnah, the, as I mentioned in my statement, well, I'm am I allowed to now talk about Imam of how we're going to approach this subject, Imam yeah, from Quran and Sunnah? Yeah. Is it okay? You're not going to accuse me of uh, delivering a sermon? <laughs> No, okay. <laughs> All right. And if you if you have something to say, go ahead. If you, I still give you a chance, Mr. Mr. Uh, Shimrani, if you have a reason, a valid reason, why you do not uh, not willing to discuss Quran and Quran and then Sunnah, why your your beliefs, Abu Bakr's beliefs, Omar's beliefs, and the statements of your ulama, why you're not willing to discuss that with me? If you have a reason, go ahead and uh, why. explain why. why. Go ahead. In a free debate, I said. We discussed it in the future. And in the message yesterday, or was the day before yesterday, the message, what I understood from the message, that you accepted to discuss Imam from Quran and Sunnah. You yourself accepted it. So now you can throw a lot of questions to make yourself look invincible. Why don't you debate this? Why that? Why don't you do this? Nobody said we're not going to debate this. We know you should be hard about Tahrir. We know you should be hard about Omar, Aisha, and goat eating hadith. We know all of this. We, we, we can discuss this and we will discuss it in the future. But it was you, Mr. Alayari. Mr. Alayari, these things are online, people are watching it. It was you who said we want to discuss even to my disadvantage. And I don't even want to make the situation that is to your disadvantage. We were asked even in a message, I think, yes, Sayyid Ali is a witness. He, he read it and he said it. Are you willing to debate Imam for one of them? You said yes. So I understood you said yes. Call us. No more discussion, Mr. Alayari. Don't open a thousand kinds of forms. Yeah, well, you know, you're narrated. I can say the same. You have narrated. You have no answer as narrator. I've studied this. We can discuss the topic of your, the, the, the shocking character of your, 
of your 12 imam who is not from Ahlul Bayt, who is a mythical figure. Okay, okay. Can okay, do okay, the same. okay, can we now just... Uh, the character of Abu Bakr Umar and the Sahaba. You always Mr. talk Hassan Shari. Can we allow Mr. Allah Yahri, Sheikh Allah Yahri, to come forward and yeah, but, yeah, give course, a proposal for his talk? Anyway, but, uh, but please, please, no more repeated questions. Why not? Why not? The simple reason, Mr. Allah because you agree. Tough love, you said. You agree. You said, well, I accept Imam of the Quran Sunnah. Now go, go. Now let's, let's, let's move on. People are getting tired. Yes, yes. I, as I said before, that uh, it was imposed on me because you are not willing even to talk, even have a discussion, unless it was Imam. <laughs> that was why. And I would just ask for an explanation that you might have a rational explanation for your position. Uh, but obviously, you do not. If you had, you would have said it. Now, coming to the, the topic. He has agreed to the topic of Imam of Abu Bakr from Quran and Sunnah and I agree to Imam of Ahlul Bayt from Quran and Sunnah. And obviously, this subject is uh, the Imam of Ahlul Bayt has many dimensions and many facets. And it's proofs the Shia ulama and Ahlul Bayt themselves have uh, uh, presented are uncountable. And before I begin that, I'd like to address that he said something about 12 Imams alayhim salatu wasalam. First you said that you love them and now you said something they were... The 12th. 12th, 12th Imam alayhi The 12th, 12th Imam alayhi salatu wasalam. Okay? Perhaps uh, after we discuss the Imam uh, of the first Imam alayhi salatu wasalam, and then we could... Uh, the rest of the Imams alayhi salatu wasalam, we will discuss that. Uh, and you are not yourself not willing to even discuss Quran and Sunnah, Obviously, if somebody is real or not real, it will be proved from Quran and Sunnah, but you're not willing to discuss it anyways, so we will never know what's mythical to you or not because you're not willing to discuss your sources anyways. I am in the future. No, if, if you, uh, no, if you have agreed to have a series, then rationality would indicate that we discuss those that are important first. Proof comes before what you're trying to be proving, uh, trying to prove. But obviously, you don't have an explanation. We know that. Now about Imam of Ahlul Bayt I'm going to choose as my first proof of Imam of Ahlul Bayt Ayat al tathir And I'm going to be clear what I'm going to need in order to discuss Ayat al tathir I'll discuss it in three phases. And I'm going to need sufficient time. And you're willing to get, you know, uh, equal time. However, I cannot, I'm not a magician. And, I, and I'm not, I cannot bring miracles, and I cannot do things shortly, especially since you, do not, you are not willing to discuss Quran and Sunnah first. So I have to agree by the rules what, that you have already said, what Bukhari says, what Muslims say, Dora is sahih, and what other ulama say, they are not sahih. So I cannot question those rules at this moment because you refuse to discuss that. About Ayat al-Tathir, it's my position. Ayat al-Tathir proves uh, the Ismah of Ahlul Bayt alayhim was salatu was salam. I will prove to you that Ayat al Tathir is not addressed to the wives of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, and wives of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are not included in Ayat al Tathir. And I'll prove that from your own books. That will be my first phase. And I need sufficient time to prove that. The second phase would be to prove that Ayat al Tathir was revealed with respect to the five holy personalities. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam, Al-Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Al-Imam al-Hussain alayhi salam, and Sayyidat al-Nisa al-Alameen Fatima al-Zahra sallallahu alayhi And um, per very valid reasons, uh, the nine Imams from the progeny of uh, uh, Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wa salam. But since they were not born at that time, they were not physically present under the cloak of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I will have at least 30 hadith from your books. Sahih hadith. Please, please. No, I, I'm going to outline what I need. I'm going to outline what I need because the burden of proof is on me, not on you. Please allow me to finish. I talk half the new You talk as much as you want. You have to allow him to... Uh, I, have to I have to present to you what I need, okay? In order, if you are going to have this discussion. I'll bring at least 30 sahih hadith. Sahih hadith. That these, these I was revealed and addressed to them and only about them. And each hadith that I will bring, I need to read it to you. 
I need to prove its authenticity. And will, it will, this will take some time. You can take equal time to question me, to disprove me, but this will not, this will not, I, I cannot do, um, uh, bring a rabbit out of, my, out of my hat. If you want proof from Quran and Sunnah, then you have to be, uh, be patient enough to listen to Quran and Sunnah. At least 30 hadith. Each hadith will take about 10, 15 minutes, and if you have questions, then it will take more time. Then my third phase would be to that once I have proof that uh, wives are not included in Ayatul Tathir. And Ayatul Tathir is addressed only with respect to those fives who were present under the cloak and the nine who were not born at the time of, uh, uh, of that incident. Then, Salamullah alayhim, then I will prove to you at the, uh, uh, at the third phase that the Ayatul Tathir indicates their Isma. I'll prove that from Quran and I'll prove from your own ulama's words that Ayatul Tathir proves their Isma. One of the important facets and dimensions of Imama is Isma. Infallibility. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was not infallible according to you in his personal life and he would even commit minor, even major sins according to your many scholars. But however, many of you would say that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was infallible. Likewise, Ahl al-Bayt alayhi wa are infallible. And this, any person who is infallible, it means that he does not ever lie that he does not ever lead you astray, it means you have to follow him. Because whatever he says, it will please God. This would follow that they are ma'asum, like the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when whenever there's a ma'asum, you have to follow the ma'asum, and you cannot follow anybody else. I'm going to prove that. Now, now just one sentence, uh, Mr. Moderator, please. So this, I'm going to need four sessions for this. Four sessions. Four sessions. One session for that, to address that they are not, uh, wives are not included. Two sessions to prove that this was revealed with respect to the five, because 30 hadith, I have to recite to you, and prove they are sahih. It's going to take time. And the last one, I want one more session at the end with respect to, to, to uh, the dalala and the meaning of Ayatul Tathir, it proves Isma and Imam. Go ahead. Are you okay with that, um, Mr. Hassan Shabani? Uh, yeah. Very good. So he yeah. will, will debate Imama. From Quran and Sunnah, he will start off with claiming that Ayat al Fatir proves Isma and therefore Isma proves Imama and he will prove everything he wants to read. Okay, anything else? Details of. Uh, and after this, after the Ayat al Tathir, I'd like to, you to address the Imama of Abu Bakr and Umar Uthman. And you can have as many sessions as you will want. Three, four sessions as you want. Equal numbers. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to have a debate, isn't it? When, when you present your proof... No, I want you to commit to it. At least commit to this topic. I'm going to do that. I already did. No, but, you, but I want to clarify that you commit. After, after Ayatul Tathir, the burden of proof is on you to prove uh, the Imam of Abu Bakr and Umar Uthman. You agree? Yes. Yes, you, that's the second topic, no problem. You agree to that? But after Ayatul yes, Tathir... Yes, yes, okay. I agree with that. Very good. But so that I understand you correctly, in the first debate, when you present your proofs, obviously it's going to be a hiwar in Munazara. So you talk, and then I talk, and then you talk, and I do it. You can't talk 30 minutes, and then I talk 30 minutes. It's going to be one lecture, and then the person repeats it in another lecture. We have to have something, you know, digestible. So I don't know, what do you suggest? Because, I, I guess, six minutes? I yeah, we, we have to, sorry. Yeah. So we have to look at, um, obviously, uh, a realistic uh, time yeah. period that allows both parties to speak and respond to the objection of the opposing factions. So for now, I think we, we've, we've obviously agreed to two topics. We've uh, agreed to a, a standard structure. So the next step from here is to obviously arrange a different time and day, uh, perhaps during the week, um, where we can... Uh, discuss the actual conditions of what the debate are and uh, I'm sure yeah so what we can do is That's we can finally, alhamdulillah, very good. Finally, alhamdulillah, we could do this uh, well, well, a couple of things that I need to address that uh, since I mentioned okay. that we that we will discuss this in three phases I would like to, uh, we'll discuss the rules but it will be important since he brought up the rules I'll, of course he can take equal time to me or if he needs more time perhaps we can discuss that although the burden of proof is on me so obviously the person who is presenting proofs has, uh, needs more time than the person who is making questions. But anyways, we will discuss that. However, when I'm discussing about excluding azwaj from Ayatul Tathir, excluding azwaj from Ayatul Tathir, the wives of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 
he has to stay in that in that arena. He cannot bring. Uh, this has to be something which is respected by both parties. This yeah. Is the why so we have to we have to follow a course a, a, a clear course of uh, discussion. 100%. So uh, topics are not mingled. One hundred percent. And having said that, having said that, uh, we have many proofs of Imam. Uh, uh, the, uh, okay. uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, let me. Hadith al If I want to speak about Hadith al proving Imam of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam, I will need five, seven uh, sessions with that. And I would like to, to do that in the future as well, also. And Hadith al Ghadir, Hadith al Khilafa, uh, uh, and many other issues. Uh, but, uh, but I'd like, you, since I'll, the burden of proof would be on me in the first four debates, I'd like you to also take three, four sessions. And discuss, let's discuss the Khilaf of Abu Bakr, Khilaf of Umar, and Khilaf of Uthman. And inshallah, tabaraka wa ta'ala, we'll move, uh, go on from there. Okay, exactly. so let's inshallah, let's inshallah conclude for now. Um, so we're both parties. Uh, we have to agree, agree on uh, something that we have uh, to have another session or perhaps the rules uh, about rules of engagement. Exactly. Inshallah, inshallah. Definitely. So when, when, so, when uh, is a good time for that? Uh, I think for now, uh, I'll, I will wait for... Um, Brother Abu Ismail Farsi to get back to me and let me know what would be uh, a convenient time for him. And obviously, likewise, what would be a convenient time for Sheikh Hassan al Yahadi as well. So, for now, I think okay. we will conclude for now. So, thank you very much. I have a, I have a closing re uh, uh, remark. Perhaps you would like to make a, clo a closing re uh, 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 remark yeah, as well. Brother Hassan uh, Shimani has a, a closing remark. By all means, he can add to that after uh, Sheikh Hassan al Yahadi. Yeah, go ahead, please. Oh, go ahead. Me? Okay, sure. Uh, obviously, uh, Mr. Shimrani is um, exaggerating, exaggerating what happened in the last uh, discussion. And since he does not have any reason to evade topics and explain why he's not committing to more debates, he, all he has to resort to is something that we all know as a child cry. And I said to him again and again that we make one condition of the continued continuing debates that both sides remain uh, mute when the other party speaks. Is still he's not willing to commit to more topics. <coughs> and then he he says that he has agreed uh, accepted my challenge. Obviously, after the last discussion, after writing a statements to him that please bring forth more topics. He is not even willing to mention more topics, nor he is willing to ask me what other topics I would like to discuss. And of course, we know, and their channels and their websites, they always call us mushrik for the reason of istighatha. Why he is not willing to discuss tawheed, discuss istighatha? Why he is not willing to agree on these topics? Why he is not willing to discuss about our questions, about what happened in the history of Islam, what happened to Ahlul Bayt alayhim as salatu was salam? Why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, passes away from the dunya and leaves this dunya until the day of Qiyamah and he does not say anything about Imam, about who should lead the Muslims and he is the last prophet and he doesn't put forward any formula. If they have any formula for Imam, we shall see. Why he's not willing to uh, commit to these topics? The, um, it's clear to me that the claim of Mr. Hassan Shimrani, does he accept my challenge, is a deception. And here I declare to him that I've committed to you, Mr. Shimrani, to give you as many deep mutual debates as you want. As many mutual debates as you want. The first topic was imposed to me, Imam and Quran. It was not a topic that I chose, contrary to what you, to what you claim. I never said that I want to discuss Imam as the first topic until, un until it was imposed on me. My preference would have been to discuss Quran and Sunnah first. And I insisted on that, but you do not agree. You do not even ag agree to answer why you do not accept that. Okay, we are going to finish. Please, please allow me. He can, he can have as, many, as much time as he wants. What I would like to s state here, it's a deception that he's saying he has accepted my challenge. He has not accepted my challenge. I will give him as many debates as he wants. However, I'm withdrawing my challenge from him. And I'm going to solely focus and Muhammad Hijab and the rest of the people and prove to the world that their absence from the scene and their silence to my calls is nothing uh, else, as no other reason, but the fact that uh, they are afraid Just to afraid. face facts. Go ahead. Okay, uh, go ahead, uh, Mr. Hassan Shimani. Thank you very much. Of course.
with the Sheikh Hassan Al Yari, he, 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 he can't but <laughs> praise himself. I'm going to comment on some things, and obviously, you want to say my last bit. First of all, nothing was imposed on nobody. Neither I am forced to debate, nor he is forced to debate. It was him who said in the first video he released, where he invited a group of people who, by the way, neither they need to endorse me nor I need to endorse them. Not my problem that he primarily challenged uh, Mr. But my good brother and friend, uh, Ham Hijab. This is his business, Al Ayari's business. I myself, when I accept it, they didn't, maybe they didn't even hear of it or they don't even care about Mr. Al Ayari. It isn't their problem. So nothing was involved. The group of people he mentioned, despite them being my friends, it has nothing to do. Uh, with uh, the, the, the whole issue it is, uh, on, on hand that uh, he, he, he doesn't need to mention I mean, he doesn't need to mention them as for one last thing again that I'm constantly what did he say cry baby you know what no, not much comment on that one I just advise everybody everybody to, to visit www.robashia.net and the YouTube page and watch the whole debate itself, and then everybody shared Sunni delight. Most people who commented even were even Shia were embarrassed by the behavior of Mr. Al and, and even doubted his surety and sanity. That's not what I said. But anyway, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, finally we have agreed to a topic. I was not running away my primary reason. I hope the, the viewers who are watching. They understand that the only objection I have to commit to a number or series of debates with somebody who's uh, unpredictable to me is my uh, is my absolute right to first see if this uh, debate can uh, can happen between us and everything else then for the future. One last thing I need to mention. Sorry, one last thing. This is very important. And this is very important. Very important. I need to be said. This the video that Mr. Alayali released, the long one, he changed the, in the description, he associated me to a, to a terrorist jihadi nut, according to me, an absolute deviant I have nothing to do with. Unfortunately, Shias themselves, an extremist group of Shias, Rafida or they uh, found a picture at the demonstration where I was seen with this individual that, who bumped into a demonstration. And I released the video and I declared myself innocent of him. I was never seen with that radical extremist individual before that demonstration and after the demonstration. For the simple reason is because I'm not from them. However, Mr. Alayari removed that title from his video. He called me an associate of this Ms. Anjum Chaudhry, who I, I am not. I condemn people like him and people who think like him. But unfortunately, he put a picture, the same picture, in that video. I would appreciate if he, he, he can upload the video again or edit it and to remove that because um, this is slander and I'm not slandering him as well and he shouldn't slander me even if it was a mistake that he just copied what others said about me. Anyway, Alhamdulillah become, came to a conclusion. Brother Sayyid Ali, I hope you stay in good contact with Brother uh, Abu Ismail al-Farsi. We will set up a, a, a date and then inshallah in the very soon, very soon, in the near future, we'll have a nice debate with Mr. Alayari. And I also thank Mr. Alayari. I thank him. It was a much better discussion than the previous one. I'm, I'm fair. Yeah? Credit with credit is due. It was much better. Not ideal yet, but much better. And I would say now it is, uh, it is 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. I doubt. It's 12 and 11. It's, uh, I think, more than enough. Okay. And, the, and the view of his personal attacks again, I have to respond that he's been very condescending from the beginning of this discussion until now. No, and he forgets himself. I mentioned, and everybody can see that video, that you were interrupting me uh, constantly in the last video. And now so, acting so. as if you were some kind of holy personality, my debates, he, uh, hold on, Mr. Uh, moderator, please. He had seen my debates on TV, on YouTube, from before in Farsi and Arabic. If I was an unstable person, if I was not a good person, if I was not worthy of debate, you knew me. It was not just the first discussion. 
I know this is a crying about the previous talk is just a ploy not to commit to more debates. Oh. If you knew, if you knew, if you knew me from before, before you have seen hours of my discussions, you said yourself yes, that you've seen me. So, so why did you accept my challenge? If you had know, you known me, you I'm somebody who appears on TV every day. You have known me, so that so so saying claiming that something happened in the last discussion, where when you were interrupting me constantly, and that 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 holds you back from further debates. We all know that's just a lame excuse. And the real reason that you're not committing to other topics, we all know, is because you don't have any defense in your armory. Inshallah, leaving now. So thank you very much, you guys. This was obviously a better discussion from last time. So inshallah, we will continue this on later today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sayyid Ali. Thank you so much. May Allah bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.